The team that got in because of Jacksonville's loss, not just got in, won the AFC South, which we swapped predictions to saying they should, they would probably win it like seven or eight weeks ago. It got yep. rocky there for a minute, but they are hosting a playoff game. The Houston Texans, D'Amico Ryans, C.J. Stroud, first-year head coach, first-year quarterback, Nico Collins looking like a monster out there against the Colts. They're hosting the Cleveland Browns. Flacco comes to town. He has to take on the Texans. Ryan, what are your initial thoughts on this game? Who are you liking? What are you looking at broad picture? Well, you remember the Browns just in Week 16 handled the Texans, right? And right. But C.J. Stroud didn't play. Sure, but Joe Flacco had a really good game, and I think he's going to have another really good game uh, this coming up weekend. I think that the Browns defensively, um, offensively, are just too much of a mix match for the Texans to handle. You got a rookie head coach, you have a rookie quarterback, you have something that hasn't been done since 2012, um, and I think that's mm-hmm. something that we really need to look at and say, wow. What D'Amico Ryan and C.J. Stroud have managed to do at the Texans should give hope to Texans fans all across the country, all across the world. Well, they, this team, they have their franchise quarterback, so that's sure. Uh, that's yeah, the thing. We, and I don't want to take anything away from D'Amico Ryan's, but like this wouldn't have happened if he had gotten Bryce Young or anybody else. Like C.J. Well, Stroud is the lottery ticket that has gotten them, you know, admission to the playoffs. And this team is just—it's you can see that it's coached so well. Because right. you have the wide receivers doing great. It, names that we haven't even heard of, right? And you have people like Devin Singletary doing really, really good right. compared to what he was at, you know, at the Bills. You just have all these pieces click on offense. I think they need to work on the defense in the offseason. I think well, that's I, their, their weak link. And, and that's kind of the interesting thing because D'Amico Ryans is a defensive head coach. But I just think they need more personnel. They got a lot of young guys on defense. And that, to me is the matchup in the game. I think if the Texans want to have any chance at winning this game, I think Will Anderson has to wreck the game. I mean, I really do think the rookie has to take over, and I don't think that's going to happen for a rookie. I think he'll be good. I I want to pull this up. Look at this. This is comparing the two defenses, the Browns versus the Texans. This is what we're dealing with. Opponents, points per game. Cleveland is 19th, Houston 22nd. So pretty even there, and then we get the discrepancies. Cleveland giving up uh, the fewest yards to opponents first in the league, Houston 14th. Pass yards, Cleveland best in the league, only giving up an average of 164 a game. Houston on the opposite end, 23rd, giving up over 200 yards. Opponents rush yards, Cleveland falls to 11th, Houston takes the cake there at 6th. But as you can see, Cleveland obviously edges them out. And where I see right here a problem is Cleveland shutting down the pass and Houston needing to pass the ball to win it. The fact that Cleveland is number one in pass defense, Houston is number 23 in pass defense, that tells me Flacco could have a big game where C.J. Stroud might be struggling. Speaking of Flacco, he could set a record this game, Tristan, with the most playoff road wins by any NFL quarterback. That would be the number eight if he wins this weekend. That's and great. He would set a record. So look, I go with experience. I go with the best defense, and I go with the offense that can. Uh, I, I mean, really, when you look at these offenses stacked up against each other, they're similar in some aspects. They they have pieces all across the board that can do really really well. But what it comes down to to me is C.J. Stroud is a rookie. He is a mm-hmm. fantastic quarterback, and he is the franchise guy. But Joe Flacco's been there. He's done it. He's won it, and I think he's going to do it again. But again, this game, like you said, I think it it boils down to which defense steps up. And statistically, it's been the Browns all year over the Texans. When you look at rankings of defenses, I think that's going to continue. I see the Browns going through to the next round. Uh, I tend to agree with you. However, I do have this just nagging feeling that's telling me the Texans might do it. But it, it... Feels like this is the accomplishment for the Texans, right? A lot of people, myself included, thought they'd be picking top five in the draft next year. They're in the playoffs. They're hosting a playoff game. They won their division. I feel like the inexperience is going to bite them, but it's not like Cleveland has a ton. You know, they haven't made the playoffs since that year with Baker Mayfield. So I, I'm not sure. I I think Cleveland should control the game and should have Houston out of their depth. However, if it's a close game in the fourth quarter, if it's getting late into the fourth and we're tied, I think C.J. Stroud finds a way to win it. I think he is that guy. I know you're really high on Flacco. 
Uh, I'm not. I think the dude will end up making mistakes. I just think the defense, you know, are able to supplement it and Flacco will air it out. So it's a catch-22. If Houston is somehow able, able to shut down Amari Cooper, it really neutralizes Cleveland. I'm with you. I'm picking Cleveland to win it. But if the if it's close in the fourth, man, I think C.J. Stroud might find a way because he really is elite. We've talked about Flacco making mistakes and how it is acceptable when you can go and score four touchdowns that game as well, right? So, right. Uh, you know, I, I would be happy to see at the end of the game interception versus touchdown ratio. I think that's going to tell us a, how the game went, you know, uh, for Flacco anyway. And so, I if if Cleveland's defense steps up, though, man. I'm telling you, it's over. Like it's over. If if that defense is able to do what it's done all year long, it's not going to be much of a matchup. I really think that the Browns are just that they outmatch the the Texans in experience and talent, pretty much across the board. So um, it's going to be exciting to see, you know, kind of who comes out on top. But I, I just got faith in the Browns, man. <laughs> 